Knowing these three types will guide you to simple and maintainable tests. The three types are based on the outcome that your tests want to assert. So you can group them into result, state, and component interaction. One tip that can really help you to achieve better and maintainable tests is to make sure that your test can fit only into one of these buckets. One test, one type. The most common type of a unit test is when you do something, for example, invoking a method, and you expect to receive something as a result, or you want to observe, you expect to observe a given exception. And that can happen on code like this. For example, imagine that you are expecting something like var result, and you call a given method that will count words. You provide the string, and as you can see, this is returning an int. And now I want to just assert that this int has the value that I'm expecting. So result.shoot b2. So this is the most simple one type of test. When you call a method and you inspect that the result, that the return of that method is what you expect. Or when, for example, instead of checking the result, you expect that the invocation of that method should throw a given exception. Other type of unit test is when your behavior has an impact that can be observed by a state change. What does that mean? Imagine a code like this. You have an order, and on that order, you can add products. You add one, add a second one. And what you want to assert on this case is that by adding two products, for example, you want to check that the total amount of this order is respecting the amount of those products multiplied by the quantity, for example. So on this case, it would be order.total should be 110. So this is the second outcome that you often observe on unit tests. You invoke a method and you will check a given property, for example, of an entity to see if the method has behaved as expected. This type of unit test is pretty common on domain models. The third type of unit test is the most problematic one, at least from my experience. I see a lot of mistakes when doing this type of test. On this type of test, you want to check that a given component that you are testing as an impact on an external dependency. On this type of test, it's pretty common to see people using things like mock, doing verifies, for example, to check how this behaves. I will show you using a different technique, but in fact, when you are doing those verifies with the mocking library, you are basically doing this type of test. So let's say that we have an order service like this, and on this order service, we want to check that when we call a method to process a new order, a given repository will be invoked to create that order. How can we do that? We can do it through mocks, for example, because as you can see, you can inject into this order service an interface for a repository. I will be doing a different approach. I will be using a fake, for example. So I have here a fake on my source code, and I will inject that fake into my order service. When I create a new order, and I invoke the method that I want to test, this process new order, what I want to check is that this dependency has been invoked to save my order. A simple way to do it when you are using a fake is that you can expose a method to return that order when you provide, for example, the order number. And that will return you an object. Now that you have the object, you can check, for example, if that result is not null, if the ID is the same, if the object is equivalent to the one that you provide to the process new order, you do whatever you want. But the principle is simple, is that you are invoking a given method on, a, for example, on this case, on the service, but the assertion is not on that method. Instead, is on a given dependency that you want to assert that has been invoked and behaved as expected. But it's important to say that component interaction tests can be really dangerous. And because of that, I highly recommend you to take a look into this video. I will see you soon, and in the meanwhile, just keep things simple.